Following General Electric Company's announcement last week it was exiting the bulk of its financial businesses, the deal's Dan Fried reports that the company still holds a nearly $28 billion insurance liability that GE may not be able to unload at any price. GE is holding on to businesses including insurance and reinsurance for life and health risks and providing certain annuity products. Particularly problematic is long-term care insurance, lifetime policies that pay for people who cannot perform basic functions on their own. GE likely chose to hang on to those businesses because it's not clear there are any buyers willing to take on the risks. Insurance has been such an afterthought at GE that former CEO Jack Welch was unaware that GE was still in the insurance business. In GE's latest 10K filing, the company put its total insurance liabilities at $27.58 billion. A GE spokesperson declined to comment on why GE isn't selling these assets, but said they are in runoff. The company previously tried to shop some of its insurance businesses in the past, but has been unable to find a buyer, according to an investment banker. Last week, GE announced that it would sell most of its real estate and financial services assets of GE Capital for $26.5 billion to Blackstone Group and Wells Fargo. Under the terms of the agreement, GE will sell a $9 billion commercial real estate mortgage portfolio in the U.S., U.K. and Canada to Wells Fargo. Blackstone will pick up a package of real estate assets for $14 billion. In New York, I'm Armie Lee for The Deal.